are just under a month away from the start of the South Dakota legislative session. And yesterday marked the governor's annual budget address to the House and Senate. Joining us now is Kellyland's Capitol News Bureau reporter, Bob Mercer. Uh, thanks for being on the show with us today, Bob. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, so what was your first reaction to what the governor covered uh, in her budget address? Well, you know, first, the length struck me. Uh, at 30 minutes, it was one of the shorter budget messages that I've covered. Um, and I've been here since 1985. Um, second, you know, the, the underlying message is that the boom that state government revenue saw in recent years is over. Uh, just South Dakota received approximately $10 billion dollars in various types of COVID-19 aid from the federal government during the pandemic and, and since then. And that extra revenue jacked up sales tax receipts. So in that respect, the proposed budget is back to pre-COVID normal. But third, a lot of the unexpected growth in revenue the past few years wound up getting stashed into the state's reserve accounts. The governor now wants to use quite a bit of that money for prison projects. Uh, there's a $27 million shortfall on the new women's prison in Rapid City. She wants to target $21 million of one-time funds to cover that gap. And the governor also wants to use most, much more in one-time funds to help pay for a new men's prison that's proposed in Lincoln County. Her plan calls for taking $96 million from reserves that have built up through the years and, and also using a $132 million from one-time funds. And these would be in addition to the millions of dollars already set aside in the state incarceration instruction fund. Bob, the legislature had a few summer studies going on this year. From what you saw, did anything from those studies jump out to you during this address? Well, the, the governor proposed funding a statewide commission on indigent defense. That, that's defending people who can't afford to pay for an attorney. Um, and that, that would cost state government about $1.4 million in the first year. And the governor's proposal calls for that to be an ongoing, you know, on an ongoing basis. And in turn, what it would do is it would save county governments about $600,000 a year. Uh, the office would handle appeals in criminal cases, child abuse and neglect cases, um, other cases. And it would also provide training and mentorship to rural attorneys. And indigent defense was the topic of a special panel that was appointed by the South Dakota Supreme Court Chief Justice Stephen Jensen. And high court costs were also a big complaint that county officials made to the legislature's interim committee that was studying county finances and, and services. Um, as to other recommendations, if, if they're in the governor's proposals, she didn't highlight them. All right. Thanks a lot, Bob. That's Bob Mercer, our Capital News Bureau reporter. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Bob. Thanks a lot.